Hey guys, it's Catherine. So today I'm going to talk about five ways that I stay creative. And this is how I stay creative for blogging, creating, when I'm trying to design something new or create a new product. The first way that I stay creative is I attempt what hasn't been done and I try to not fear the unknown. So one of the things that we tend to do when we're creating something new or trying to be creative and not copy others is we are afraid to do something different and we're afraid to step out of the box. People always say, think outside of the box. And you're like, oh yeah, I totally think I am. But you're really not because you're not attempting what hasn't been done. You're not going with your first instinct. So which goes to my number two, which is go with your first instinct. Don't second guess and Google it. A lot of times we're like, oh, I have this great idea for a product or um, how I'm going to style this slide or whatever it is that you're creating. And instead of just going with that idea and trying it out, we Google it to see if someone else has done it, to see if our idea is viable and if it's good enough. And we don't need to do that. We need to just try it. If it doesn't work out, then you can go to plan B, but at least you're trying and exercising all your options. And sometimes our first instincts when it comes to designing or something or creating something new is actually what we should go with. My third tip on trying to stay creative is to see the world as a child. So sometimes I try to put myself in my children's shoes and try and look at things differently from their perspective. That doesn't mean I have to get on the ground, although that doesn't um, not help. Like you could totally get on the ground and try to see things that way if that pertains to your job, but sometimes it's just about seeing things with a fresh perspective or maybe you've been working on a project for a really long time and you're like, uh, I need a new set of eyes on this. Sometimes we need to take a step back from that project and to relax and then come back to it with a new pair of eyes so we're able to really look at it differently and see how we can improve on it. Sometimes all we need is a really good change of our perception. Number four is try to ignore outside influences and the competition. Personally, I believe in community over competition. You really don't have any competition out there. Um, I guess that is bad advice if you're a big brand. Maybe you do have someone who's selling the same thing as you, but you can always work a different angle in there and have a different uh, business approach when it comes to things. And so uh, number four is really thinking about what would I do? Not what would they do, what are they doing, don't Google it. Think what would I do to make this work, to have a different um, perception, to have a different angle, to design it differently, to have uh, something that stands apart from my competition and to stop thinking, okay, maybe they've done this before. Which goes back to number one, attempting what hasn't been done. This helps you to try and find something that's new, that's different, that you're able to do. And it really starts with not thinking about your outside influences. And this, you may not even be thinking about your competition, but you may be influenced by something that you, or somebody that you admire, someone on Instagram, someone that you follow and you're like, oh, I really admire how they do that. I'm going to do it that way. Instead of thinking, you know what? No, I could do it this way and trying to find your own spin on it. And my last tip, number five, is use everything, even unrelated topics, for inspiration. Reading, design, quotes, buildings, nature, anything that inspires you to give whatever you're creating new life or new breath or uh, that thing that makes people go, whoa. I love that. I love that painting you painted. I love that product you just launched. I love that new t-shirt design. I love that new course you just built. I had no idea that I would want it so much because of the way that you are either promoting it, designing it, creating it, however you're breathing life into this thing. So those are my five tips for staying creative, how to think outside the box and not allow outside influences to persuade you to do something that goes against your instincts. So those are my five tips on not allowing outside influences and your competition to make you go against your instincts in creating something new. Always keep in mind that it's helpful to not look at something else or do research on your product design before you really sit down and make a rough draft. I think you should make a rough draft of whatever it is that you're creating and then think, okay, how can I improve on this? Try and 
finalize that as much as you can and then do a ton of research more about what other people are doing because if you do it the other way you're going to have all those people and things and ideas influencing you before you even get to really create something that comes from you. So those are my five tips. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope this helped in your creative endeavors.